bits that you can see different sizes um, see a size 8 size 12 so that's the biggest one a size 12 this looks like maybe a 10 I use typically eights and six as the most. There's a six all the way down to a five, and then there's an eight. So let's try those and see. Now, the one thing about the countersink that it does have, it has this long collar, or a longer collar, so it doesn't go straight from a shaft to a countersink. It's got the collar that's there too, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's see here. that okay so you can kind of see here if I show you it's got some wobble to it looks like it's mo mostly the bit though maybe I can adjust that yeah I think it's more of the bit because if you look at the shank in the in the contour or the taper the black part essentially that stays the same it's, it's just the bit that's really wobbling back and forth so i'm gonna see if i can fix that you see for, i don't know if you can tell from the end but it does have it's like it's not where it's centered in the hole and you don't maybe there's something right through here where that cutter is all right, so I'm gonna, not so sure about that. Let me press the number eight, let's see. Let's try another one just to see, let me see if I can get it back together. There we go. Make sure it's not pretty. Let's see if it's moving around a bit. I'm about to center up a little bit, so let's try it again. Now that bit's all over the place. All right, let's try, let's see what the number six looks like. Ooh, that one's wobbling all over too. cut very well at all either all right we may have gotten everything in this order but I don't know I don't know if I'm a fan well, the same thing you can see it there maybe it shows better here I can see I can see I got several bits I may try on there. I just think that's way off. Okay. All right. Now I'm curious. Let's see what the big one looks like. Cause that, that looks like that takes up more of that entire shaft. So maybe there's less play and wobble. No, it's still got quite a bit too. Be careful, I don't want to drill into my I got a little more room. Yeah that cutter head is terrible. Alright. I might be sending these back. They don't cut they do not cut well at all. All right, might as well try this last one here. This is a size 10. Well, let's see again here. It's got play, not as much as some of the others. But... All right, the verdict is out. I would not, I would not recommend those. All of them have play. They all have wobble. And again, I know there's probably hundreds or at least dozens of manufacturers, Timu, that are supplying these. But this particular one, I would not recommend. And in fact, I may try to send those back. No, God, please, no, 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 no. All right, here, I want to show you a little bit closer view of these two cutter heads or the two countersink bits. This is one 
that I use. This is the Timo, Timu one with the gold colored bit. And there's some design flaws in it that really make it, it's not a matter of just a, a um, you know, will it last or is it made of cheap materials? It won't function like a countersink should. So you can see here, up here toward the top, just the little bit of the chamfer that does that initial countersink before it gets all the way up to this top collar. But you can see that's a lot more snug. Um, the bit is much tighter. You can see how there's just, it, it's not, it doesn't have a trailing or a leading edge on the cutter that's higher. Right here. That edge. You can see how the, the one on the bottom of the screen has a cutting edge that is going to take away material. The top one doesn't. And that's why I had some difficulty when I was drilling once it got through the bit part of it and it got to the actual countersink. I had to force it through because it's not cutting into it. So it's a very big design flaw. Absolutely do not recommend getting countersink bits. At least not this particular brand. I'll share that uh, particular um, item. But would not get these at all because they just do not function. So I wanted to take a moment to show you the actual site for Timu and where I purchased these countersink bits. So now, I'm sure you're saying, because I would say the same thing, it's only $3.48 for those. And so I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but I did expect the tools to function, thinking that maybe the materials were softer or the bits wouldn't last long, but just not purely be a poor design and not function. So that's what concerned me. But the bigger issue that I have with this is just the reviews. Uh, the reviews alone show it at a 4.7 and there's no way that anybody that uses countersink bits or has any familiarity with how they should be used would give it anything of significant rating. Now, when I look at my review, my review's here. It shows up high on my profile just because I'm the one that did it. However, what I think is concerning about this is there's no, let me open it up here. Yeah, there's no, it shows my review here. There's no, no helpful other than one. And that one is me. I clicked on that one and shows there. And so there's others that say helpful. They worked as they should. I've used them multiple times. They work perfectly. There is absolutely no way these work perfectly. So what I'm saying is I'm a little bit concerned with how the reviews work. And I really think that my review, even though I can see it, is not being out there for everyone else to see. So I'm curious if you if you do Timu, go look and see this particular product. Um, it's 348. It's Central, I think is the name. Central yeah, is the name there. Go look and see if you can find it and see if you can find my review because I suspect it's not there. So again, that's why I caution you with these reviews. I think Timu is very tricky. They're not on the up and up like Amazon is in terms of you know, getting what you see, reviews being accurate. I think there's a lot of things that are covered up here. Now, do not get me wrong. Timu has some good quality products that I like too that are very good price. And I'm going to show you the countersink bit that I did get that I really do like. This one is a um, five bits in countersink. It's got the stop collar, adjustable depth. It is $16.98 for that kit of five. Now, you can buy the same bit on Amazon and individually they are $9.99 and I think you can buy a full kit that's similar to this that is closer to $30 but I've got a video on this one where I've tested it and showed you how it works really really like how that it's got a dual cutter head it does exactly what a countersink should do there's no wobble to it I've got it set up in my press and you can see how that works but the long and short of all of this is just be cautious if I would have gone through and looked here I probably could have noticed just some of the drawings. If you look at uh, here, you can see how the shank um, doesn't really taper off. You can see it a little bit better here in this picture. There's no taper to that. So I do think there's some things that I probably could have noticed. This certainly tells a lot, but I've also got some products that are really, really cost effective that 
have been good good deals this is just not one of them so buyer beware please go out there and take a look if you got Timu and see if you can find my review I'm just curious I did it on February the 4th 2024 so just a few weeks ago but I just don't think it shows up and I'm curious if they're doing something a little manipulative or sneaky with their review, review process again I appreciate you watching thank you so much uh, thank you very much.